Boop. <sighs> Hello, all. I'm sick. Um, but good news is, today you get to appreciate my photography skill and look at this beautiful background. Uh, because the devs decided to release a ton of teasers, and honestly, this is the best way I can organize them. So I'm going to try to go through them as fast as possible, but there's a lot of information to unpack here. So yeah, we'll start out with the news about the beta. Fred says, there's lots of work left for ships to happen, unfortunately. Like I said, I've been busy with uni after the accelerator program ended, and we've been focusing on new content. We're going to release another early beta of all the new shit soon without the ships. During the early beta, I'm going to fix all the bugs and hopefully manage to finish the ships. So yeah, this tells us that there's not going to be uh, the previous plan with the open and closed beta, and everyone's just going to be able to play the game regardless. You know, there's not going to be a closed beta where only some people can play. At least from the looks of things. I could be wrong. Again, this is all very up in the air. These are just teasers just showing off what the devs are up to. Stuff is still changing. And so then we've got our first combat teaser, which is fucking cool. I'm going to play this once, and then I'm going to like comment on it. So we've got Fred peeking out here. Lights a grenade. Chucks the grenade. Kills four NPCs. Takes his scope to Charleston. Shoots the final NPC, kills him. So, this is a very cool teaser. We see a lot of new shit. Uh, first thing to notice, right? Squared off little buttons here, which is pretty neat. Although we see this later getting, like, sort of appealed almost, removed entirely in the UI overhaul. Everything looks different in the UI overhaul. And that's what we're going to get to in a while. We've got, like, how many left? Uh, one, two, three, four. No, three to go. And then I'll show off the UI overhaul. Actually, uh, two to go. Fuck. All right. So yeah. Uh, first big thing: no names on the guns anymore. Don't know if they'll bring those back. I I don't know. I, it's slicker without the names. I'm fine with it. it. Doesn't really matter whether or not they have names. But there's little lead ball indicators now next to the weapons, and then there's like ten little lead balls shown in this new munition pouch model. Um, but the uh, series of big things here. First off, uh, we've got a scope on our Charleston. <clears throat> Very big. Uh, it's customizable. We'll see it better in the next teaser. And it's essentially a spyglass for your gun. Looks like it's uh, equipable the same way bayonets are. You can take them on and off. And it looks like they can go on any gun. Because not just rifles, you know. The Charleston can mount a scope. And that's a musket. So yeah, it looks like they can go on any gun. And they look customizable. Um, and originally I thought, because this is a Charleston, remember. So the Charleston has a very, very tight crosshair. And originally I thought that was because the um, the scope, but now that I look at it, I'm pretty sure it has to do with the prone animation, because he's lying on the ground like this, and I'm pretty sure that tightened his crosshair. I don't think the scope will inherently tighten your crosshair. It just zooms you into the target. But yeah, only time will tell with that. We'll get to find out once we actually have this update released, and then we see this very cool head-exploding animation. Although I'm not sure that will be in the final game. Uh, but we'll see. <coughs> yeah, this is all very up in the air. Fred's just showcasing new features. Uh, and then, of course, the most important thing, the fucking grenade. This is the first or second AoE weapon we've gotten. Uh, first being field cannon. Uh, I'm kind of worried about this thing being OP, because as you can see here, it's got quite the fucking range. Look at that range. Bam. Grenade explodes here kills an NPC here. That is fucking wild. That is a crazy... Okay, sorry, here, not, not there, here. But that, that's still a crazy range. And I'm a little worried about that because this... I don't know, it, it, it's going to make... Well, first off, it's going to make, uh, like, you know, ambushes much, much more deadly. Because, I, I mean, I'd be willing to bet you can cook these grenades. Uh, so that's kind of scary. And that's going to take a lot of balancing work. Uh... Did I say first off? Oh, I don't know what else the second point would be. But yeah, uh, that's going to be kind of scary. We'll see how they balance out grenades. Maybe they're like super hard to acquire. I don't know. But yeah, that looks like a lot of damage. Maybe they'll just tweak it and it'll do less damage. But we'll see. And then we've got a cannon rework. I'm going to play this once. Uh, and then I'm going to comment on it. Yeah, so Fred walks over to the cannon. Turns it with the mouse, aims it at the NPCs, fires at the NPCs, kills one, and then they all shoot him. 
So first thing to notice is that the NPCs only attack him after he attacks them. It's like this, you know, Fred fires first, and only then does, you know, he aggro the NPCs, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then as you can see, we, we saw these in the Bay of Little Teasers, right? Uh, looks just, you know, it looks like, you look. it's in those teasers. It's just a feature we've seen previously. And then he's made a lot of the UI squared off now. There's no rounded edges, which is neat. Uh, and then uh, we've got some NPCs, and we've got a thing that says dock your ship. Probably correlates with the shipwright NPC down there. And then we've got these two bars under two guns. And I cannot figure out for the life of me what the fuck they could be. Because originally I thought they were reload indicators, just like the current guns have. But that can't be, because when you open your inventory, which we'll see in a later screenshot, they're still present. I mean, or maybe it is, maybe it's just like a glitch or something, I don't know. But the point is, these show up in your inventory, which I'm pretty sure wouldn't make any sense for a reload indicator bar, you know? Uh, and then I thought maybe they're a durability system. But if that's the case, and they're a durability system, it would make sense why they show up in your inventory, but why doesn't the tomahawk also get a durability meter? And so I don't know. Um... My final guess is it's like some sort of system where you have to clean your firearms after X amount of shots, which would be really fucking cool, if I'm being honest. It would, you know, vary combat for a change. You, you couldn't just sit there and fire 80 balls, you know? You couldn't just have a, you know, long-ass trench fight. And I'd have no idea how the fuck that would work. But I think if that's what they're actually adding, that would be pretty damn neat if it's some sort of fucking snowplows. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it would be pretty neat if this was some sort of, like, weapon cleaning thing. Although, again, this is all so up in the air and we have, like, zero information about these, so it's all purely speculation. Um, yeah, I mean, we see this new cannon thing as well, you know. Cannons are now controllable with your mouse, which is nice, and it makes them a lot more viable in combat. And it's crazy to think that the grenade is more powerful than the cannon, but it is, and it's it's it, okay. Look, I don't. Okay, it's not a problem necessarily with the grenade being more powerful with the cannon, but like the grenade is crazy powerful in comparison. So I'm hoping they do something with that. I'm just trying to see. Did I miss anything else? Nah, we've got the squared off UI. Okay, so now we get into ship stuff, and this is what's being delayed. Ships are being delayed, and my guess is the uh, ship economy features are also being delayed too. Because <coughs> I can't see one working without the other. <coughs> Fuck. Um, and these are pretty cool. Uh, this is Fred's first attempt at doing like a steering wheel animation, and it's pretty fucking neat. <laughs> Uh, this is Fred's second, not, no, I don't know if it's second, but this is Fred's cone attempt, and it's really slick. I love how good that looks. That is so nice. I love these ship models, and you can really see all the detail, and you can see why this stuff takes so long, because he does every animation by hand. He does his own animations. Yeah, so that looks really, really nice. And then we've got this final one where he's lowering the sails. Well, singular sail. He lowers his sail, and he did this animation himself. Very fucking cool. Oh, man, it looks so slick. I, I, oh, my God, I creamed my pants the first time I saw this. Not really. But it's just so nice. Look at that. Oh, look at the way he holds it. It's just, oh, my God, so much work went into it. It's very clear. See, so yeah, that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> that's why these are taking so long, because there's so much work to do on these boats. And then we've got our first UI screenshot. This is Fred's new UI, and I like it. It's pretty slick. It's it's very cool. It's definitely an improvement on the current UI, but I like the current UI too. There's not a whole lot of problems with the current UI because it's a really well-designed UI. Uh, yeah, so first off, you know, everything is squared off now. There's no rounded edges. Uh, these little icons, they're easier to work with. You know, it's very clear what they mean. Apparel, uh, you know, like mats, dot dot, miscellaneous, uh, knapsack, right, uh, new knapsack, speaking of which, this is, this is the model we saw in the AI teaser, uh, not in the game yet, but pretty sure it's gonna be in the game at some point in time, and then, it's all just, yeah, it's very pretty, it kind of reminds me of the Wild West, uh, UI, but it's, in my opinion, better, 
because this, this white-black contrast is very simple, but it works really well. I really like it. It's all very clean. <clears throat> Even at this stage in development, it's all very clean. Uh, then we've got our mats, which is, in my opinion, the most interesting part of the screenshot, because we have so many ingots. And Fred says that not one of these ingots is a Ducat ingot, which is crazy. Uh, but first, let's do the pelts. Oh, oh sorry, yeah, th there is a singular Ducat feather, but otherwise, let's do the, let's do the, fuck it, let's do the pelts. So, um, you know, gray pelt, uh, brown pelt, uh, black pelt, white pelt, uh, then a new fucking, like a red pelt, and then a new, not green, what am I doing? Blue, blue pelt, we've got a blue pelt. My guess is this red and blue pelt are probably going to be Ducat items, because I don't see how you could realistically attain them in-game. Just, that just makes the most sense to me. I could be wrong. Obviously, this is all very speculative. This whole video is incredibly speculative, but that's pretty cool. And we've got our ingots. And this is where shit gets really speculative, because I don't even know if all of these are coming to the game. I doubt ever, I doubt anyone knows if all these are coming to the game, because there's a fuck ton. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 15 fucking ingots. So we've got iron, a new one, copper, silver, a new one, a new one, gold, platinum, uh, cobalt, rose gold, rutile, maybe wolfram, maybe something, I don't know. It looks like wolfram, because it's black and, you know, blackish green, like wolfram is. But it's not in the place you'd expect wolfram, which is behind silver, so I don't know. Uh, then we've got a new blue one, a new, like, red one, which is not copper, it's a red, I don't know what this is, but it's not copper, Fred said so. And then a new whatever. What even is that color? Like a, like a dark magenta? I have no idea. Whatever the fuck, it's something. Which means, yeah, we've got a lot of new mats, which is pretty cool. And then feathers. These are just, you know, cone feathers. You all know what feathers are. That's a Ducat feather. The rest are just, you know, gray, brown, black, white, etc. The, the Ospreys, whatever. <sighs> oh. I just looked up what a gall in Newell is. It's a really small bird. And I don't understand how a bird that small produces a feather like that. Although, to be fair, it looks like an owl feather model. <clears throat> but it's an osprey, so who cares, whatever. <coughs> and then we've got this awesome UI screenshot. And we see, you know, we see more of this, right? Money, weapons, uh, utility, uh, like... Knapsack? I don't know. I don't know what knapsack means. I don't know if that's like storage, but this is all storage, so how can that be storage? Oh, go away, snowplow. Uh, like clothing, food, uh, like paper things, materials, miscellaneous, I guess. Uh, so yeah. <coughs> More of this uh, very cool squared off UI. And now we have this cool sort of uh, I like these abbreviations. It's awesome. Uh, SPC, which stands for space. Uh, Lead balls take one space. Bands take one space. Bandit takes three space. You get the idea. Very, very cool. VAL stands for value. Uh, this is the value, you know, between... Uh, well, it's just the value of the things. And I don't know how that works. I don't quite understand this idea of value. Because I'm pretty sure items have different values at different shops. Like, pelts have different values at the two different hunting stores. Uh, in JB. I could be wrong on that, but last I checked, that's the case. So I don't know how you can assign a set value to every item. Uh, yeah, that's interesting, regardless value. Uh, then LTB, which stands for lootable. If it has a red little hand, which is, oh, it, I don't know if the red hand really fits in this kind of game. Looks like you'd see, like, on a stop sign. I don't know. Uh, cool, though, regardless, there is now a very clear lootable indicator. As you can see, the clerk's insured. That's what this blue bar is. I'll talk about this in a minute. Uh, so it doesn't have a lootable indicator. Uh, then EQP, which stands for equipped, uh, or equip, or whatever. Uh, check mark means it's equipped. You know, that that's what that does. Um, and so, yeah, that's what those mean. And then this is incredibly interesting, right? Uh, so first off, little blue bar, this is insurance, because we've got seven little thingies. Uh, so yeah, this is, this is pretty clearly the insurance bar. And then our green bars are back again, and this is why I didn't think that it was a reload indicator, 
Because why would you put a reload indicator here where you can't even use a weapon? Because this is your inventory screen. You, you can't use a weapon in your inventory screen. You can't reload it or anything. And yeah, I mean, it may be a durability thing, but the bayonet and tomahawk both don't have durability. The axe and shovel don't have durability. And I assumed they'd do it like Trade Lands does it, where every item has durability, but maybe only the guns have durability. Now, I don't know why they do that. That sounds kind of silly. I don't think they'd ever do that because that sounds so silly. But maybe, just maybe, only the guns have durability. Or it has something to do with cleaning them, which is an entirely new mechanic. And my guess is... I don't know. I don't know what my guess is. Uh, but it would be very cool if there's some sort of gun cleaning mechanic that's introduced. And that's the only thing I could realistically see this bar doing. But I don't know. And they don't share. So we'll just have to wait and see when they release the update. Which I'm fine with. But that's my speculation. Okay. And now we get to the real... Uh, just not real interesting, but this is just something we got to go over. This is native plans, and now we finally see what it's going to look like, because this is confirmed now. So he says, natives aren't really going to be removed for, say, just disabled. Yeah, you won't lose your saves. I think I'll make it so you can still play your native character, but new players won't be able to. I can't confirm that yet. It'll be like a gift for early access players. Eventually, though, natives will come back to everyone. I just want them to be played differently. So, I mean, makes me sad, this change, but it does make sense. Uh, I'd obviously prefer they kept natives in regardless, but it does make sense that they're removing them temporarily in this way, because at least this way they don't have to like focus on creating native areas on all the new islands in the way they've done previously. It, it's just it's less to do, you know. It's less it's less required to finish before they release an update because they've already done so much, and a native overhaul is just a ton of work. So yeah, I mean, it makes sense. It's sad, but it makes sense. And then lastly, we've got this weirdness, which I still do not understand in the slightest. And I still don't know if this is trolling or not. Uh, there is a bunch of these pictures out there, uh, released by Laz, Fred, Spartan, what have you. Uh, and Fred says, UI rework and nose. Only one of these two things will be implemented. Hint, smell, body, anatomy, nose. I mean, I guess it's trolling, I think. I mean, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm pretty sure this is fake. I'm pretty sure. I'm I'm 60% sure this is fake because it's so, so silly looking. But we can't know for sure. Uh, until then, that was the final thing teased. <laughs> Thank you all for joining me on this ride.